Hello, all you awesome ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the Ranting Redhead, with yet another episode. I am the host, Aiden. And today, I would like to talk about... Well, I want to talk about walking in the street. Now, you might be thinking, what the hell are you talking about? Well, I'm going to explain. That's the point of the show, alright? So, look. Most people, when they drive, at, at some point... Probably at least once a week, depending on where you live, more than once a week, for once a day, you know, even screw it, once a friggin' day, you'll run across someone on a bike, running, walking with a group of people, alone, with a dog, what have you, and they're walking on the side of the road. Now, here's the thing. If there is no sidewalk, I have no problem, you know, swerving around just to make sure that I don't hit you or anything like that. However... If there is a sidewalk available and you choose not to use it, well, then you're on my territory now. You need to adjust to me. If someone is choosing not to use the sidewalk, I will not give you the courtesy curve, okay? You can go fuck yourself because you're so entitled. Like, well, see, they give me a sidewalk, but I'm choosing not to use that because I'm too cool. You see what I'm saying here? No. Get the hell out of here. Use the sidewalk or, or you know what? I will gladly hit you I will if you get in my way. Here's the thing. I acknowledge the fact that I will probably I will probably go to jail if I hit you, but you know what? I will be treated like a hero because all my inmates will all the inmates will say finally someone who had the guts to stand up for what is right. It's about our basic freedom. I you know, I, I, I don't know. Am I the only one who gets irked by this? I can't be the only one, right? Come on. Please, don't th don't let me be alone. Don't hang me out to dry. Other people need to do this too. Like I said, if there's no sidewalk available, absolutely, I'll give you a courtesy curve. But other than that, I mean, do sidewalks offend people? Are they taking a stand? I was like, I'm not using a sidewalk because, see, I, I'm not walking. I'm briskly moving. I'm, <laughs> I don't get it. People get offended by the word sidewalk now. That's the only conclusion I can jump to because if it's available, what is the point of not using it? It's really that simple. It's just, it's there. It is built for you. Finally, when something gets built specifically for you and other people who want to join the exact same activity that you are doing, you choose not to use it. So, you know what? <sighs> just get out of here. I mean, are you are you a, are you a, like a stupid kid? Like that thing say, yeah, you know, I'm so badass. I'm gonna, you know, flip my collar up and I'm gonna walk in the road because that's what makes me so cool. I'm gonna get hit by a car, but you know what? Hey, you know what? Those fuckers would be crazy. I mean, you know what? Just because you're a kid does not mean I will not hit you with my car. <laughs> I don't care what age what age you are. I don't care if you're a senior citizen. I mean, how much longer do you have left anyway? You probably are overdue on rent at the at the nursery home, and they're going to pull the plug as as compensation for not being able to pay your bills. So you know what? I'm doing you both a favor. I don't care what age you are. If you go in the middle of the road and interrupt my space, you know what? You're done. You've asked for it. I'm sorry. But you don't get the courtesy curve. I uh, no more, Mister Nice Guy. No more, Mister Clean, because he's sick. He's obsee he heen. Come on, I can't be the only one who gets that reference, right? But um, speaking of driving and sidewalks, uh, you know, not the best transition in the world, but I'm going for it. So I was driving home today, and um, I was on the uh, you know, freeway there, and what should happen is someone slams goes right cuts right in front of me on the i'm getting off the exit i'm already like on it and someone apparently just comes right around and guess who it was guess which state they were oh you know them you don't love them you know who it is it's those jersey jerk offs <coughs> sorry you know I, I've said this a million times. I don't hate the fact that you're from Jersey, you know? I don't hate people that are just from New Jersey just for the sake of it, but you know what? When you cut me off like that, 
and you would and you drive like an idiot, you're not helping the stereotype any. The only reason I do not really get pissed off and start yelling at the drivers is because I've seen Sopranos multiple times and I'm I, I get a little scared that I might piss off the head of the mafia. <laughs> so but I actually took a stand. I followed this guy. It wasn't too far off the off of the freeway. I followed him and I ro- and I found out he went into a parking lot. He got out almost immediately, thank God, because I pulled up next to him, and as I was still driving, I go, Learn to drive, Jersey jerk off! Fuck you! And I just kept going. Listen, I'm not saying it was the cleverest thing to say, not even the smartest thing. He could have had a gun on him. I didn't ca- I don't know. But you know what? In that moment, I was pissed. I have to take a stand, okay? One of us has to do it. We cannot tolerate this shitty driving from people that clearly did not take a, take a driving course. It's clear to me! I don't know. Just, oh my god. People from Jersey need to learn how to drive. Put on a blinker. Use your brakes. Common sense. That's all it is. Common sense. Oh my. It's a miracle. They know how to start the car and they know where the gas pedal is and they kind of know that the wheel goes goes left and right. Wee! That's all they know. That is all people from New Jersey who drive know. I'm convinced. Oh my god. I mean, anybody who ha- anybody who lives outside of New Jersey knows this for a fact. Even people that live in Jersey, you know what? If you're if you live in Jersey and you agree with me on this, thank you very much because you are the only people from Jersey that matter. But any of these other people that that are driving a white van can't tell, can't put on a blinker, can't use their brakes, and clearly have a couple bodies in the back that they're trafficking across the country are, you know what? They're the ones I don't like. Okay. And of course, the one time you want the police around to see this happening, they never are. And look, I I get that the police can't do everything, but you know what? They should if if you know that there are people from Jersey on um, on the premises of the streets, then you need to then you need to really get on patrol because you know you can put you can get a lot of you can write up way more tickets and fill your quota faster if you find people from Jersey on the streets. I'm telling you, that's the best piece of advice I can ever offer the police department is if you know that there are people from Jersey within your within your jurisdiction, I'm telling you within 5 minutes if you see them, I guarantee you you can fill your you can fill your quota of tickets written for the week within an hour. I guarantee it. They cannot do anything correctly, especially drive. Like I said, though, I would never say this to their face because I'm afraid that the head of the mafia is going to kill me. <laughs> but but other than that, I don't like it. I don't know. To me, when a driving test in Jersey must be like, hey, can you turn the ignition? Congratulations, you passed. How old are you? Four years old? No problem. Get in there and start driving. But mommy, I need a car load to get my brand new Tesla. That's that's what happens in Jersey. I guarantee it. There's some shady underground DMVs there. <laughs> I don't know. If you're if you're visiting me and you're from Jersey, you know what? Go home because I there's no chance of me liking you. And I get that you're from out of town and you want to visit, but you know what? You're not welcome. You really are. And I don't, here's the thing. I only take a vacation to where I know I'll be fine. And the people won't absolutely hate me. I'm not saying they're going to love me. Because look, I get I am a divisive, you know, figure. But I understand that there are some places that will have me. And some people might like me. I guarantee you, everybody around where I live and other places across the country, if you are from Jersey and you fit these stereotypes, we all fucking hate you. I don't care if you're the nicest nun in the world or the shittiest bum. We all hate you. This is my this is my New Jersey rant. And, and I don't regret any second of it. I mean, that's what's great about where I live, you know, in upstate New York, because, you know, if I, like I said, if there's a sidewalk, I'll give someone the courtesy curve, but if you're from Jersey, forget about it. They practically think that the sidewalk is the road. They really can't drive. I've never, look, if we're looking at this on a surface level, I have never seen from any state, I've been, I've been across the country once okay so i've seen i've seen the way a lot of states drive i have never ever seen 
any state nearly as bad as New Jersey. It is absolutely the worst. Now, look, some people might say the same thing about New York, and I'm not disagreeing. But you know what? We at least know how to use a blinker. I will say this, though, talking about any anybody who drives a car, because I don't really... Listen, I get pissed when I'm done driving. I get pissed while I'm driving, but I never really take it out on the road. I really... I, I don't get people... Unless, like, someone hits your car, if someone just cuts you off, like, people get so fucking pissed about it. Look, I get pissed about it on here because I think it's entertaining, and I just think it's funny whenever I blow off steam like this, but people actually get, like, really pissed, and I'm like, do you really have nothing better to do? It's it's that episode of Seinfeld. George Costanza thinks someone's giving him the finger, so he goes hours out of his way just to, say, just to say, hey, you cut me off back there, and then you gave me the finger. He's like, oh, really? And the guy had surgery, and his, his middle finger had to be kept in an upright position. So it's a complete waste of time. If you really dedicate your time de- doing exactly what I'm doing, but in a less funny way, of course, because everything I do is entertaining. Then you're wasting your time. I don't know. To me, here's what happens. Someone cuts me off or anything like that. Yeah, I get mad about it. And I think of like scenarios that would be funny in my head of how I would deal with it. But then I move on and listen to Wild Thing in my car because that song gets me more pumped up than anything in the world. The version from Major League, of course, the greatest sports movie of all time. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just, I never understood road rage and how some people really, really get pissed at it. And I've been in cars. Okay. So <laughs> one time when I was coming back from New York City with um, me, my friend, and his mom, she had the worst road rage I ever saw in my life. And what's funny is, like, I never seen someone so bad. Like, just someone who would go up right beside her and maybe go a little faster on the freeway. She'd be like, oh, fucking bitch, dyke ho! I'm, I'm gonna fucking blow out your tires, cunt! Like, that's the type of stuff we would hear. And I'm in the back seat thinking, like, holy shit, we're gonna die. But it's, it was just so funny just to hear her like roll down the window and go, you cunty bitch. (laughs) I loved it. I mean, sometimes being in cars with people who have road rage is funny in retrospect, but in, when you're in the moment, it's a bit, it's really unsettling. Like, and especially if you know that the person driving that you're with is the one in the wrong. I've been in that situation to where another guy I was driving with, he clearly was starting to cut off someone, but he did not have the wiggle room. So we had to get off the next exit and he was so pissed because a car beeped at him and he like, oh, he almost hit the car. And he's like, oh, fucking, b- fucking idiot. I'm going to fucking kill him. I'm going to find out what, what license plate he had. And I'm like, dude. You gotta calm down. And of course, I'm in the car going, yeah, yeah you, know, you know, you know, you you weren't on the side that almost got hit, but yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's terrific. Yeah, keep doing your, what you're doing. That's why I never really give people rides, because I really don't want my reputation soiled like that. Because look, I'm human, okay? Despite what some really mean commenters say, I am human. And... I'm not saying that I wouldn't break if someone really pissed me off. I I probably might. But you know what? I don't know when that day will come. And there's a chance that I could have somebody in my car. I'm not doing it. I will not because I will not have my reputation ruined. Because then the word gets out that I was in the wrong. No, no. I have to set up the story like I'm in the right. Okay? So anytime, this goes to anybody that I, that I know on a personal level, anytime I tell you a story and clearly there are no other people that are in the story aside from maybe one other person and they can't back me up. The odds are the story is very embellished. It's so easy to trick people like that. I, I don't like, there are so many people that I'm able to trick, like, no problem, and I, here's the, I think they believe me, or at least they, they, they don't 100% think I'm lying, and I can take that, like, okay, so, I started this rumor at work, and, uh, here's the thing, 
everybody at first was like, no way. And then I just kept going, oh, no, this is true. And I'm like, oh, I have pictures and everything. Of course, I didn't show them any pictures. But I was like, oh, yeah, I got pictures on my phone. I mean, my phone's off right now, but when I charge it, I'll show you. And they go, okay, great. And, of course, the attention span of people today, they forget all about it. But in, the, in that moment, they think that I'm right. Like, okay, I'll give you the example that I'm using. <clears throat> So I, this is from one of my favorite Simpsons episodes. I said, yeah, you know, I bought a lobster and I was going to, I was going to uh, eat him, but you know, he looks so cute. And so he's now part of the family. He's a pet, Mr. Pinchy. And so people are like, no way, man, you don't own a lobster. I'm like, oh no, I do. Mr. Pinchy. He's my, he's my friend. I love him. And I would say more to that. I can't remember what I said, but I would be like, yeah, you know, Mr. Pinchy, he's my best friend and I can't live without him now. I will never eat him. And I'm like, oh yeah, I got pictures to prove it. And literally I would just find a picture of a lobster on Google and they would believe it. Because anybody who I, listen, I like talking to idiots, okay? <laughs> okay. Or at least people are gullible people. How about that? Is that less offensive in case anyone I talk to is listening? Whatever, whatever makes you less mad at me and still willing to talk to me, gullible. How about that? I like talking to people that are gullible because it's just, it's so much fun to fuck with them just to where I could start just so many random stories and they will not ever know the difference. At least in my mind. I don't care if on the inside they're like, Aiden's so full of shit, that's, that's not real. You know what? You put on a great show for me, so you may, you may be lying to me, but... In that moment, you gave me the ego boost I needed. And at the end of the day, if I ever brag about anything, you know what? It's your fault for boosting my ego. It's really your fault. It's a false lead. And it's very, it's very hurtful when you think about it to lie to someone like that. What sick individual would ever lie just to embellish a story or keep some or yank someone's chain? Hmm. The sickness of society. And with that... I'm going to end the episode. Thank you all so much for listening. I look forward to doing another episode. Leave a like if, you know, you don't want to be a loser. Leave a like. And, you know, tell tell all your friends about the greatest show you ever listened to that's this side of the Mississippi. The Ranting Redhead. Bye-bye!